Hi, this is Rachel over at Moonlight Library. Welcome to my reading journal. I got the Dot Grid A5 journal. Um, it's from Yup and Tom, I think. And uh, it's got a little moon on the front, so really matches my vibe of Moonlight Library. So I'm just gonna open this up and it turns out that there are pages already <laughs> inserted into it. Um, so I'm going to choose to go ahead and just rip those out, but not really rip them out, more like use a cutting instrument called an X-Acto knife. <laughs> um, so my past reading journals, I have had this thing where I think I go a little too hard with them and I go a little overboard to begin with and then I immediately just stop using them because I'm like, it's too much work. So I'm like, what do I like the most out of a reading journal? And that would be, have to be the statistics. So I'm going to choose with this one to kind of focus on stats. And then I will also have, um, like some like things about the books I'm reading throughout the year and just like not focus as much on like trying to go and make the most elaborate spreads because that's just not me. So this is me creating my little title page, um, Moonlight Library, and I have a nice little moon stamp I bought a couple years ago. It makes me very happy. Um, <laughs> so at first I was like, I'm not loving this, especially I write reading journal and I'm like, it just does not look very good. <laughs> because I don't think I have that like beautiful handwriting like other people, but you know what? It's me. It's, it's a little chaotic. It's a little fun and a little sloppy because that's who I am. I have these stickers too that are just impossible to open or like get the backing off of. So I'm like struggling and struggling. There's one point where I have to turn off the camera because it took me like five minutes to get the backing off one sticker, but I think they're so pretty. And I wanted to go for like kind of a black, white, and gold theme throughout this reading journal, which you'll see I don't really stick to because I'm like, this is impossible. <laughs> but I'm trying to place this like little leaf thing over the moon or something, which I kind of think is cute now that I look at it, but I didn't like it then. And I stuck my hand into the ink pad, so now I have to fix the fact that I got little ink splotches all over the place. And this is going to be a theme throughout this video, is me sticking my hand on that ink pad and getting ink splotches on the pages. Because once again, I am chaos, and chaos reigns in my life. And you know what? I embrace it. And I ended up with something really cute because I got those ink splotches on the page. I love that. So here's my next one. I call it index and I don't know why I called it index because it's more just like I'm going to write down the title of every book I read and more of like list like fashion throughout the year just to have them all in order right there. Maybe I can write the pages that I ended up journaling about them in. So we'll get there. I'm kind of just making this cute, but like simple cute, not over the top cute. Yeah, I, uh, I usually cut things out of like a Nat Geo and I'll use that to kind of decorate with because they have some great pictures and I have a lot of Nat Geos to cut up. So I'm just listing down all these numbers and I end up doing four pages of this, even though I'm like, there's no way I'm reading like as many books as I'm going to write down. Be maybe I will. Who knows? This year I've read like 71 books, so <laughs> I'm not sure. I get into these reading slumps and then you just, you have no clue whether I'm going to be reading anything in a month and <laughs> it's just how it is. And you know, we have to embrace ourselves. So I'm just like, once again, I want it to kind of feel like the last page of numbers for books and kind of bring this theme over to this next spread. And once again, list all my numbers as I go down. <laughs> That's kind of cute though. Um, 
I like how it's just this like easy thing. And I also end up getting an ink splotch on the left hand page. You'll see it soon. Look at that ink thing right there. Oh, you know, I just noticed it. And I was like, yep, you got ink on this page. So what are you gonna do about it? And you'll see what I do about it because I think it ends up being really cute. Am I gonna read 133 pages ne or books next year? Hopefully I read 133 pages. That would be sad. Um, I mean, not that sad. Do you, you know? But for me, that would not be the best. Pretty cute though. So next I'm gonna do my red shelf. And this is one of my favorite little spreads. Uh, I like the way I end up setting it up this year because it's just like not, it's not like a bookshelf like usual and creating that bookshelf is very hard. Just trust me, it's, it's difficult if you haven't done it. It's just time consuming. And look at that ink pad, I've just left it open and I'm definitely gonna dip my hand right into there. So this is more of a free floating shelf idea. I end up doing 10 shelves, but now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, maybe I should add another shelf underneath because I have a lot of room. I could add one more shelf and each shelf could be one month. And then I'll fill out however many books I end up reading. So I end up filling in books on these pages, but then I can just like, um, like highlight in how many books each month. So like the first, one that I'm doing now would be like January and then so on and so forth. <sighs> but it, it looks really cute. I should like draw little plants or something onto them. Um, my cat's trying to get into a box behind me if you hear that. So <laughs> maybe I can draw my cat onto this. That would actually be really cute too, but I'm not that great at drawing. And maybe I can have someone else draw my cat on the shelf for me. So who knows? <laughs> but just in the end, I think this is one of my favorite spreads because it's just so like cute and easy. And like, as soon as you put those books on that shelf, it's LPC, stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, as soon as a cat sees a box, he's got to sit in it. Um, yeah, so just enjoy me <laughs> filling out the rest of these books. Now he's trying to go into a bag. That's not a good idea. Okay, and there's my red shelf. So cute. So next I'm going to do my book of the month, or like best book of the month spread. I always want to say book of the month spread, but that is a subscription service that I do subscribe to, but not a sponsor. Um, <laughs> would be a sponsor, but yeah, I, I just, I enjoy this because I saw someone do this maybe like two years ago and I was like, brilliant. I will always be doing this for the rest of my life or at least the rest of my reading journal life. Um, and it's just an open book and on each of the open little pages you put a mo the month and like whatever the book was that was your favorite that month. And I'm like, I just kind of love this little idea. It's so cute. Also, I think that however I did it this year, just like, it looks so much better than any of my past years. It's just cleaner and easier, even though, you know, I'm probably gonna get some ink on this with my hand. Um, it's just beautiful. Here I am struggling with a sticker again. <sighs> there we go. And now I'm gonna fill out all of the months, but just like the first three letters of the month because I'm not going crazy here. I kind of want to fill those in with black ink on top of the gold because it's kind of hard to see. So next up I am doing, I 
think this is, oh, my physical TBR. And on the other side is going to be my series tracker. I don't really actually read that many series, but I, <laughs> I just feel like I have to track whether or not I am reading a series. I don't actually fill out my physical TBR because that would take uh, time and we don't have that. I mean, we do, we have a lot of time, but I just didn't choose to do that today i'll do it later um and on the series tracker I, I just put two of the series that i've been reading um actively not so much but hopefully you know it's more of like hope wishful thinking that i'll get around to actually reading these series and finishing them maybe someday because i have all the books in these series so you, you can't even see me writing it yet you'll see it trust me it's just a cliffhanger Okay, here I go. Anyways, I just kind of like the series spread because I think it's kind of cute the way it's like set up that you like fill in the little boxes and then I made myself some blanks because we'll see if I fill out more. But I was like, here's the idea of what it'll look like if I were to read them. I mean, I have read the two and then one of the other one. This one is... I think this is my la no it's my second to last spread that I'm gonna do. This is going to be the genre and then the the stats. I started doing the genre one last year and I just really like it. I kind of like seeing how many of each genre I'm actually reading and it's kind of hard because at the beginning you have to judge which genres you're gonna read how many of, but I feel like I have so many boxes that there's no way I'll fill it up. And if I do, I do have a lot of room that I've left on the side. You'll see once I start creating this grid, it takes forever because there's like a lot of boxes that I'm creating. Did I have to? No. Did I? Yes. Um. So literary fiction, there you go. I was like, no, you might read more than that. Um, so also if you see a genre that I didn't put in, tell me it because maybe I forgot it or I might not have put it in because I don't actually read it. Like I put like biographies last year and I was like, that can go under nonfiction. You don't read biographies and memoirs that often. So <laughs> just do not need that. Um, but like romance, horror, sci-fi, fantasy, speculative, historical. I don't actually think I read that many historical, but you know, who knows? Maybe wishful thinking. Mystery and thriller. I really made it seem like I read a lot of mysteries. I don't think I do. I, I read a lot of graphic novels though. So I think that is an accurate depiction. <laughs> Um, and then I think that's the only ones I end up putting in and we'll just see what happens and whether I need to fill out the rest of those as like miscellaneous or you're a dum-dum and didn't give something enough slots. <laughs> so now I'm doing my stats and I am bad at drawing straight lines. And guess what? I also could not find my ruler. I had a yardstick, but uh, that would have been ridiculous. Me lugging a yardstick around on this like table and like hitting my tripod or whatever it is. So I choose to do months, uh, total amount of books. And then I do library books, owned books, and bought books. And then I put 2022 releases because we're in 2022 and I was confused. That's all I can say. Like, this is supposed to be 2023. So we're going to live with that until I try to make that two look like a three later. I only realized this once I was editing it. I was like, you did not do that correctly. Like, come on. So monthly stats. Next up, I this is like kind of a simple spread that I'm doing on both sides because I was like, you know what? I want some more stats. If you have ideas of stat pages I could add, uh, give them to me because I would love it. So we have pages because I kind of want to know how many pages I read each month. Um, 
you'll see me create this spread and then I'm going to change it a little bit and like rip this, uh, rip this tape off because I was like, this does not actually look all that great. Once I get to the other side, I'm like, what is going on here? Um, so just after each month, I'm going to put how many pages I've read. And then in the end, I'll probably create a box that says like total. And then I'll be able to see how many books I read in the year and, or how many pages. And I think that's kind of fun. You know, I don't know how many pages I usually read. <sighs> Maybe I knew someday, but like right now I have no clue. Look how cute that looks instead of the tape. So much better. So here I am trying to fix up this page. I think I was like still unsure for a little bit about what I was going to do. And then I was like book club. I've been in my book club for about eight years now. It has four members, um, including myself. So three other people. And I was like, let me make a little spread for that because I read about a book a month for that book club. And it's one of my favorite things. I used to do a read harder spread and I was like, I'm not actually doing read harder that well. So <laughs> book riots read harder. Like I didn't do it this year. So I'm just going to do a flip through now of the reading journal and what it ended up looking like in a slower version title page. So cute. Uh, index, write down all the books love this spread. I think it's really nice and simple, sophisticated 133. Next up is my red shelf. Um, probably going to add those shelves at the bottom. I've made the decision. I love the idea. Best of the month. Very cute. Going to fill in those months. Physical TBR. And then my series tracker. Hopefully I read some series. Wish me luck. Uh, genres. Yep. Monthly stats. Oh, no, I'm still pointing at genres. Monthly stats. <laughs> um, pages. And finally, we're going to do book club. Love it. I'm very happy with my reading journal this year and thank you for joining me.